Get in, it's time to go. Where are we going? Where else would we go? To the chopper. Oh yes, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Oh, oh, oh. So I am back at Second Chance Toys in Marietta, Georgia. And I know it's been several weeks since my last episode of toy hunting at this store, but the reality is that the footage that you're gonna see in today's video was shot only a few days after my very first visit to the store. And that is because while Toy Lanta was going on, which is the show I was in town for, Second Chance Toys stayed open late on Saturday night for anybody from the toy convention to come on over and hang out. And, well, I couldn't pass up that opportunity. So today I'm getting a second chance at Second Chance Toys. Let's see if there's anything that I missed last time. Now, there's not a lot of people in here. There's some folks over here from the convention. Shout out to the awesome people from the Toy Anxiety Podcast. Love you guys. It was awesome seeing you here at the store. But otherwise, I've almost got this place to myself. So I'm going to use this opportunity to really scour through all of the stock here and see if there's anything that I didn't notice from my first visit just a few days prior. Okay, so I immediately find myself back over at the Kenner Mega Force display. I talked about this in my last hunt from this store, but I'm extremely nostalgic for this particular line. And while I saw the boxed Thor hammer and Ram Fist the last time I was here, this time around I'm really noticing just how many amazing loose Mega Force vehicles are in the display case down below those boxes. I'm seeing some that I had when I was a kid, bringing back all of those nostalgic feels. So I also decided I wanted to pull out some of these from the case just to get a closer look at them. Man, I love the Ram Fist. While there's a boxed one here, there's also several loose ones and I decided to go ahead and take a look at these up close. What a fun, fun toy. Ooh, I'm just now starting, but I'm already feeling something special. Coming from this ram fist. I don't know. <laughs> like this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and staying on theme, right next to those, I notice that there's a Galoob Army Gear toy still carded. This is awesome because not that long ago while I was hunting, I came across the Army Gear Grenade micro playset and I ended up picking that up. I thought it was a pretty cool little toy. But this is neat. This is like bars, like a uniform badge that you would wear that opens up into a micro vehicle that fits in with their micro play sets. Wow, this is awesome. of Battle Beast that I notice over here too. Once again, it, utilizing an awesome old jewelry like spinner display. And there's some other really cool micro minifigures and weirdos in here. I just love the way that the space is displayed. Everything in here just looks so cool in all of these cases. And I know the last time I was here, I already showed off this insanely epic display of California raisins, but I'm just in such awe of seeing all these figurines in here, so I wanted to show them again. But also because this time, up on the countertop, I noticed this really weird California Raisins promotional piece. It looks like an ice scraper for your car's windshield. How bizarre. Oh, now these are cool. Remco AAWF action figures. I first ran into some of these at PowerCon last year, and those were carded. 
So here's a bunch of loose ones. So the second time I've ever seen these before, and they are really cool. Essentially, if you're not familiar with these, these are pro wrestling action figures, but they're all made up characters, but they're done on Remco's version of a GI Joe O-ring body type, which makes so much sense for a pro wrestling figure. These are awesome. And honestly, I kind of want to collect these, but they are pricey. Look them up. They're a bit rare and kind of hard to come by. So it was pretty cool seeing these here. And speaking of figures on that GI Joe O-ring, in the back of the store, I came across some Street Fighter GI Joe toys. It's Capcom Street Fighter 2. What's tougher than a Capcom Street Fighter? A Street Fighter's mother? No! How about the Crimson Cruiser with Championship Edition M. Bison and Street Slamming Missiles? It's not as tough as Championship Edition Guile going boom in a sonic boom tank. Or the Beast Blaster. It comes with Championship Edition Blanca and Chun-Li and fires double trouble missiles. Street Fighter 2! Capcom Street Fighter 2, Sonic Boom Tank, Crimson Cruiser, and Beast Blaster come with Championship Edition figures, each sold separately. That's a lot of stuff! Now look, I know that I bring up these and the Mortal Kombat figures pretty often in my toy hunts, but you have to understand just how nostalgic I am for these particular figures. In fact, those of you who lived through that era of the Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat video game duel, what an epic era to live through. And if you're like me, all you thought about every waking moment were those video games. It was a really cool moment to experience. So, of course, when toys were produced for Street Fighter, it kind of blew my mind. I was so excited about them. And yes, the fact that they were G.I. Joe themed was a bit weird, but I didn't care. I was just excited to have G.I. Joe action figures. So there's a great selection of them here. There's also a few of those Mortal Kombat figures. And I have a lot of these at home, but I always just get so happy and get that great feeling of nostalgia every time I run across these. There's also some of the carded two packs back here. And these are like the mini figures, like the non-posable ones, which I really don't run into these very often. So gosh, man, it's just all these awesome memories just come flooding back. And sometimes that's just what it's all about while you're toy hunting. By the way, I mentioned that this part of the store is all video game themed. So there's actual video games here, plus lots of toys and merchandise from various video games. And that's another soft spot for me. I love video game merchandise. In fact, it's kind of how this particular YouTube channel started. So it's something that I always have to take a look at. And there's a really good variety here. Stuff from retro video games, stuff from modern video games. I love these vintage Pac-Man toys that are in here. So cool. And I always love seeing the Super Mario Brothers 3 Happy Meal toys. Oh, hey, there's those Mega Man figures again. I love these, though I don't need any of these in particular. Time to check out some micro play sets, something else I've really been into lately. And I notice a pretty great display of Trendmaster's War Planets. I've been running into these here and there. I'm very curious about them. I think eventually I'm gonna dabble into this line, and maybe pick up one planet or so just to check them out. But of course, we've also got the king of micro figure play sets. Lots of Mighty Max sets are here as well including the awesome Skull Mountain playset. Very cool. Okay, so I always have to stop and look at the Toy Biz and the Kenner superhero stuff. It's just one of those things I always have to do. I'm very drawn to these. Again, lots of nostalgia. I always like to peek at these just to see if there's one here that I don't have or one that's cheap or one that's cool looking. And one is jumping out at me tonight. This is the Deluxe Flight Pack Batman from the Legends of Batman toy line. Now, I do love Kenner's Batman figures, but this particular line isn't one that I go for a lot. The style isn't as nostalgic for me as the earlier Kenner Batman stuff, but this vac metal blue armor that he's wearing, yeah, that's speaking to me. So cool. 
Now, the last time I was in here, I was really looking at all of the vintage Kenner Star Wars toys, and they even ended up buying some of those. Those were a good chunk of my haul. Uh, but this time, I'm looking into the 90s because I find this insane oddball Power of the Force 2 item. How many of you out there remember the Millennium Falcon CD-ROM playset? No. You can feel the power of the Force on your PC like never before. The Star Wars Millennium Falcon CD-ROM playset. It's a whole new way to control the action. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. Fire! And it all comes to life yes! with scenes from the Star Wars trilogy. Come on, Chewie, get us out of here. Jump into hyperspace. The Star Wars Millennium Falcon CD-ROM playset. The galaxy will never be the same. Whoa. Comes with CD playset and hand solo figure. All other figures each sold separately. Requires Windows 95 or higher. This thing is so wild to me. I totally forgot this even existed. And I was just so curious about this when I was looking at it in the box. You know, any of these toys that came out that utilized modern at the time computer technology instantly dated themselves because that stuff is always evolving. So here we have this playset that is sized for your Power of the Force 2 figures. That's the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon that is supposed to rest on top of your chunky 90s style keyboard and then it interacts with this included CD-ROM somehow. This is awesome and I kind of want to try it but I don't know how I personally would be able to try this. Did any of you have this? I'm actually very curious about your experiences with this so feel free to let me know in the comments. This is really interesting to me. All right, it's getting late. We've been here for a couple hours and it's already after hours. So Chance and the rest of the employees probably wanna go home. But guys, I can't say enough positive things about Second Chance Toys and the staff here. What an amazing shop. I'm glad I had the opportunity to come here a second time. Just in a, a span of a couple days, I spent several hours scouring this store, looking over all the stock, reminiscing, buying cool things, getting those nostalgic feels. If you're in the area, I would highly recommend paying a visit to Second Chance Toys. Guaranteed there is something in here that you're gonna find. And now, with that being said, it is time for my haul. I ended up picking up that Galoob Army Gear Battle Bars. Uh, this particular one here is the Missile ATV. It's still mint on card, and I'm actually trying to decide if I'm going to open this up or if I'm just going to hang it up in my studio with some of the other cool vintage carded figures I've picked up over the years because the packaging's really nice on this. Ah, but then I did also pick up that Legends of Batman Deluxe Flight Pack Batman, and this is one that I definitely am ripping right open. Oh my gosh, look at that Vac Metalized Blue Armor. How can you not love this thing? And finally, I went back to those Kenner Megaforce figures and I grabbed one of the loose Ram Fist vehicles. I love this thing and I'm so glad that I picked it up. The action feature is awesome with these spinning scoops that are meant to just flip over the enemy vehicles? I mean, come on, what a great play feature. What an awesome toy. I'm really glad that I ended up picking this up. And there you have it, my friends, my second chance over at Second Chance Toys. Thank you guys so very much for watching this toy hunt, and I really hope you've been enjoying my toy hunting series. If you haven't already, make sure you check the playlist. I got a whole bunch of these on there. Check the back catalog, watch them again. Right? You can always do that. That would help things out a lot here on the channel. And speaking of helping us out, make sure you check out our Patreon if you're in a place to help out. Definitely 
uh, check that out. It's a great way to support the channel. But otherwise, I'm happy no matter how you guys are supporting, even if it's just by watching the video, hitting the like button, leaving a comment. Thank you all so very much. And until next time, my friends.